Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In today's video, we're gonna dive deep again into our codes and show you a way to add a custom filter to the event listing page. So by default, we have five default filters in our listing page. We have keyword, location, date range, categories, and event type. So I'll show you shortly how we can add a custom filter over here and let user use that filter to short events. So in our previous video, if you watched it, and we added a custom field to our submission form, and we showed you how we can show that details to the event details page. We have added our uh, custom field as dress code. We added as select uh, field, and then we had two values as no and yes. By the way, uh, our custom filter adding process isn't really limited to a field we have added manually but it can actually work with any field we have over here. So firstly, we need to log into our FTP or you can even use your web host's default file manager and they possibly have a code data built in or you can use all WordPress default. You can even use WordPress default theme editor to edit the file. And one warning there, if you are using the WordPress default built-in editor, make sure you don't make any PHP mistakes. Otherwise, uh, it will break the site and you will need to fix that PHP error before you gain access to the WordPress site. So the FTP or the web host code editor is best bet. So I am logged into our my FTP over here in this tab. If we go to our public HTML or htdocs folder, we will have our default WordPress installation. Then we need to go inside WP content. Then we need to go inside themes. And after that, we need to go inside the theme currently we are using. One small trick over here. If you are using a theme which supports a child theme, I will highly suggest you use a child theme and modify the files over there. Otherwise, uh, whatever changes we make over here will get overwritten on a theme update. So we need to open our functions.php and in here we need to paste some codes I will show you and I will later on explain what those codes does and how to modify them. And if you are make, making changes to the themes function.php, uh, make sure you save this uh, modification somewhere safe. So if your functions get overwritten by the theme update, you can always replace those as well. But if you are using a child theme, then you don't really have to worry about the codes getting overwritten. So let me go ahead and paste the code block. I will leave reference to this code block uh, in the description as well. So firstly, we have our add action. Then we have a function that's relative to add action. Then below that we have uh, some UI elements. Then after that we have add filter. Then we have a function that's relative to add filter. So add action is a WordPress hook that's allow WordPress to inject a custom function whenever a specific event happens. In our case, it's WP event manager event filter search events end. And inside this function, we have a block of UI elements. Then after that, we have a add filter, another WordPress hook. Whenever event manager get listing function gets fired, this is get fired by our WP event manager plugin whenever search happens. And then we are injecting a custom function here. This is our priority and this is our functions argument count. So right below that we have our function. Then we have the arguments. So first one is query argument. Second one is argument. So this is the query count we have two and the same we have over here. So inside the function we have a if block that checks for our form post data. Then we have a parse string that parses this post data inside this form data so it basically maps the array inside the form data and assigned it to this form data then we have another if block where it checks that our custom filter doesn't have a empty value then we have our country so then we are sanitizing our text field that's our filter by country inside this variable then we have our query arguments key meta query and we are adding to that array a new array called key underscore event underscore country and then value as our event country so what is uh, this meta query this is a query argument which our plugin uses to filter those event listings then lastly we are returning the modified query argument so this filter by country where it's coming from 
we have injected a select with name filter by country so whenever we use this uh, select filter so that injects this filter by country value uh, with the filter data so we get filtered result according to filter by country so right now we can save this file and if we reload our testing page and if you see closely we have a custom filter over here it will say country and then it has select country this doesn't look really appealing i know we need to do some styling over here we can do some styling from here like add css classes to make it prettier but this is a functional demo i'm not really focusing on the styling so if we select a country there are no event matching your search because we don't really have a country field assigned to our uh, event listings at all as of now but let me show you how we can modify this uh, filter logic over here so it can support our dress code custom field we have added earlier so in here we have a divider block then a level for our input so let's change it to dress code then let's remove this translation block Let's set it to dress code requirement. Then we can change this name to dress code. Then we then we remove all these options. Let's type in our new option. Select requirement. Then we type in our two values. Required. Then we add another option. And set it to not required. Right, we need to set these values for these options. And the first option is for placeholder purpose. We are not setting a value to it. So if we say changes and reload this page, here we have our newly modified field dress code requirement and then we have our options over here required not required so so now we need to modify the add filter hook to support this changes over here let's modify this function name as well since it's not a country field filter by dress code by modifying this function name over here we need to modify this function over here too and then we add we're gonna go add filter filter by this code for the arguments you can actually name these functions whatever you want but make sure this function and this function aren't, aren't the same one but this function name over here and this function is absolutely the same you can actually change this priority over here if you want but i'm leaving it to default but make sure the query arguments are true so then we're gonna change our function name over here too. we have a query argument then argument i'm leaving this if block as it is as it's helpful already then i'm leaving this parse string as it is we're gonna use that as well then we need to modify this empty block which actually is no longer filter by country but dress code instead then let's change event country to dress code we are sanitizing dress code field then we have the meta query we have array we have key we have value so pay close attention here what is this key field for our uh, filtration process so if we come over here we will see each of our fields have a meta key right we have event title our type our um, all the various uh, fields we have over here even our custom field that's dress code even has a meta key so 
whenever you are making a custom filter you need to assign this correct meta key from this backend side next we're gonna copy our meta key for our dress code we're gonna come over here and paste it under this key item and then we need to change our value as well since it's been changed and if we save our changes and reload this page and set this uh, drop down to not required we see our two events are showing up because i have set this both events dress code requirement to not required so first let's open this event so let me edit this event for a better demonstration so if we set this dress code to required and update our event and reload this page you will see our dress code requirement is not required so that's our old event and if we set it to required it shows our newly modified event so this is really simple this is how you can modify or add a custom filter to this filter section over here to give your users a little bit of advantage to filter your events from a wide list of variety so you can always access our knowledge base from our official website and if we scroll down to the bottom we will see a link to our knowledge base if we click this and here we have our all the knowledge base or documentation about our wp event manager plugin and its add-ons we have customization guides as well in here so in the wp event manager tutorial section the first link is the reference we used in this video and there we have the block of code that we have used initially in this video and i will leave a link directly to this page over here in the description below and as well as a reference to the modified version as well i hope you enjoyed watching this modification video leave a like in this video if you found it helpful uh sub to the channel would be amazing thanks for coming along and i'll catch you in the next one